an outsider, motocross might look like an unphysical sport, but in fact it's the absolute opposite. They cannot realize how hard the sport is. It's unreal. We have caught an average of 190 beats per minute during a race. I couldn't come up with any other sport that has that high of a hard race for that long. The fact that you have to be extremely fit to even make it to MXGP is no secret within the moto industry. But how do these riders train? How do they get so fit to sustain a 35-minute moto on the toughest tracks in the world? I don't feel them anymore. Our sport is, is quite mental. You need to take risk. Only the, the, the fun part of it starts when you get good results. Inside the bleak chain, that's why we have nice bike spieren. And then the rower crunch the pike. That's a little bit of a bike spier. Yeah, that's the that's a, that's a volume three set. Hello, I'm uh, Kenny van Duren. Uh, I'm the physical trainer for the Monster Energy Factory Yamaha teams. Come on, how are you? Mooi. Yeah, 1.12. My name is Glenn Koldenhoff, riding for Monster Energy Yamaha Factory MGP. Why you don't say how old you are? Hi, he was asking? <laughs> we don't talk about age here. <laughs> 23 years old. <laughs> 32 years old and riding in the 450 class. Riding in that? 1.12. 1.12? Yes. <laughs> I'm Rick Helsinka, riding MX2 and I'm 21 years old. Oi. In the light. <laughs> in the light. In the light. As a former professional motocross racer himself, Kenny is known as a trainer who creates a very sport-specific training program, often using exercises that are unknown to most people. I use a lot of balance, uh, explosivity in, in my exercise because it's really important. So I really went sport-specific into the sport and see, okay, what do we need? We don't need that heavy load. We don't need to, to be a bodybuilding, let's say. We just need that high intensity and for me balance and, and coordination is also very important. So I try to combine everything uh, in, in, into the gym training, let's say. And then the endurance uh, we do on the bicycle. I throw some running and some rowing uh, for high intensity. So, like I would lie. And up in mainland. Yeah, that's a single leg hop, so very mogelijk. I really try to adapt on the program which we're having on that moment uh, to see, okay, what does that individual rider need? And yeah, that's uh, on the moment how we are, how we're doing it, yeah. Yes, okay. So I can't after two laps. It's a long moto here, eh? Many laps. Many, many. Yes. Yes, way many. Motocross is often seen as the most demanding discipline in motorsport. I think compared to any, any other sports, I guess like every lap you do, the track is different and you need to adapt. I think this is the biggest thing in motocross and for sure physical it's, it's very very tough. 
It's, uh, it's hard on the body. You need to stay focused even when you get tired. Um, you need to take risk, otherwise you, you will not compete on, on in, let's say, the top five, top three. You need to find a good balance between risk, uh, putting in so much effort, and yeah, I think that that's the most difficult part of it. An MXGP season starts in March and goes on until October, but this doesn't mean they have the rest of the year off. The season for me starts in November. Uh, you start training your, your body again and uh, try to get fit, you know, try to get through the winter and try to, to get fit before uh, you start to ride the bike. December, January we start a bit riding and mostly February uh, it's yeah, full time on the bike and you know, getting ready for the season. It's actually those three months you are building kind of a base. You need to keep that going for the rest of the year and you know, sometimes during the year you have a few weeks off. Sometimes we use that as a bit of recovery. Also, sometimes, you know, we put a bit more effort, a bit more training to, to get again, let's say, a good base and, you know, to keep going for the second half of the season. <laughs> Go back, Lake. <laughs> Alec, come on, a lot like see. Every rider is not the same and to make the perfect plan, it's like really important to have uh, a lot of analyzers because we, we, we use Whoop, we use a lot of technology now to just see how tired the riders are in between GPs, so sometimes less is more. Like, hop, not too far, here, just like that. I think this is also very important to come into the season very strong and then just like to, obviously of course we still need to train, but then just like to balance everything off and to be as fit as possible on that Sunday. You need to be perfect, and you have to think three things to do. Twenty-seven-three. No yes, and here uh, you. I make everywhere mistakes. I make three mistakes in one lap. Even though motocross is extremely physical, mentally this sport might be even harder. Because of the long seasons and very little time off, you often see riders retire at a young age. Uh, our sport is, is quite mental. The competition and, and yeah, is very high at the moment in MEGP. You're working so hard as you can and, and as smart as you can, which is also important. And then not getting the results, this is, I think, the, the most hard part mentally. I mean, you know, I always work hard. I, I take good care of myself. I have good people around me. I eat healthy. I try to go in bed early, I wake up early. You know, I do all the things correct. And if you still don't get the results, that is really frustrating. And um, yeah, you need to stay mental strong, especially in those times. And, you know, uh, focus on the things you need to improve and yeah, get, get back up there. The fastest so far, no? Yes, the last one. Getting there, eh? It's good, Glenn. <laughs> Perfect. You are getting used to this. It's perfect. Rem op tijd los zodat je goede bochten snel hebt kunt maken. To me, if you want to improve a weak point, the first thing you should do is talk about it uh, to the team or to your coach or to whoever it is uh, that, that's helping you. From there on, uh, the people around you will help you however they can. Riders often leave their homes at an early age. They sacrifice their childhood as a normal kid, just to chase the goal of becoming a professional motocross racer. Me as a person, I can be alone quite easily. Of course, I miss my, my parents and my family. When I have time, I go back to see them. And then uh, 
for me that's uh, the right solution for now. I don't think I missed being a normal kid. I was just doing what I what I love the most and that I'm still doing today and of course I'm not uh, the kind of guy who went to parties and, and festivals and all this this stuff. One time I like it but to do that every single week, week in, week out, uh, I think I don't miss so much there. <laughs> I think mentally for uh, every athlete it's really important to be happy and a happy athlete will perform and if you enjoy doing the sport then uh, it will be okay.